to at six disturbing details of alleged animal abuse at a local exotic animal park. The federal government accusing Lazy Five Ranch in Mooresville of not properly caring for several of its animals. The U.S. Department of Agriculture citing the owner with more than 50 violations of the animal welfare. 13 of those related to Lazy Five Ranch. 44 of the violations are against another exotic zoo he owns in Ohio. NBC Charlotte's Evan West in Rowan County tonight. Evan, you spoke to employees. What are they saying about these complaints? They are denying all kinds of animal abuse, saying that the animals named in the complaint were actually seen by a vet, but the proper paperwork wasn't documented. So the USDA actually came out to the Lazy Five Ranch this morning, saw the camels that were right behind me and found that no complaints were necessary. They gave the ranch a clean inspection. We saw the paperwork ourselves. So these are the ones we've had two inspections this year. This one is March and this one was today. Lazy Five Ranch is home to more than 1,000 animals, exotic species from six different continents who people can see from the comfort of their cars. We're not perfect and that's not what I'm saying. I just think that, you know, if we have things from the USDA that they need us to look at, then we'll look at them. Sarah Rogers has spent 15 years working at the drive through zoo. She's had to answer to citations from the USDA before, like back in 2015 when they were cited for using expired drugs. The problem with the inspections when they do write those citations is not necessarily that the adequate veterinary care has not been provided. It's more that it's not been documented. NBC Charlotte obtained a copy of the administrative complaint filed by the USDA, which detailed the ranch's failure to care for a giraffe, claiming they also ignored a deer's injuries and allowed three sheep to limp around. There are animals that have wounds. There are animals that are limping. Um, those things are, are addressed. Um, and now every time when something's addressed, it's written down. Roger says the ranch isn't planning on changing anything they do. She says that the employees here take pride in the way that they care for the animals. She's just hoping that the miscommunication won't be a factor in the future. Reporting in Rowan County, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Evan, thank you.